we are in Guna's hometown of Volda. And today I learned something about Guna that I didn't know before. He has a boat. Just when I thought life could not be any better, I'm sitting in his car, being driven to it. Furthermore, we have coffee and sandwiches, cheese and Norwegian crackers, and another sunny day. His boat is anchored on the fjord. And there it is. And the biggest treat of all, his daughter Sulavai and her daughter Linnea are coming with us. The last time I saw Sulavai, she was about the same age her daughter is now. Gunnar is retrieving the boat. and we're off. Guna's daughters were childhood friends with my daughters when they lived in Hong Kong. Hi. Say hi to, Hong, to Dodie and Rachel. Yeah. Now we can see the fjords from a car or perhaps from a cruise ship but a small boat is my favorite because we're right next to the water. I can touch it close to nature and with a 360 degree view. I'm always amazed by the scenery of Norway powerful in its diversity, but I feel the weather also enhances the experience. So clear, so bright, making everything colorful. And my favorite way to see a place is by small boat. I just sit there and enjoy it. Turn the wheel, slow down, speed up, turn left, turn right, under a bridge. I've even been over a bridge on a boat. It's so warm, Gunnar is getting some sun. Having said that, the water temperature of the fjords is quite cold, even in summer. Every now and then we came across a quiet corner. Maybe a small bridge and a few houses. The engine quiet. The sea flat calm. I think this is the best time.
11.30 at night and still cruising the sunset magnificent and another great day in beautiful Norway. Next on Beautiful Norway, off the beaten track, we go into the countryside and visit Wonderland, a beautiful village in the mountains, the power of water, wildlife, history, culture. It's all here, a different perspective. <laughs> 